Here's the Moto G Power, the 2022 model. I'm gonna show you two ways how to take a screenshot as well as how to take a scrolling capture screenshot. So the first way to take a screenshot is a two key combination is the volume down and power button. You wanna press both buttons at the same time, just like that. This will show up here and you can share it, you can edit it from there, or you can just do nothing. And if you do nothing, it automatically gets saved into your Photos app. So let me go to my Photos app here, right here, let's tap on that. And then you should see a new folder called screenshots and that last screenshot I just took is right here, okay? Now, another way that you could take a screenshot is let's say for example, I just open up Google Chrome here and let's say I just want a screenshot of this right here or this right here. All I gotta do, I can go ahead and close it and then I can tap on my recents menu here and that last one that I just opened and closed is right here and I can take a screenshot from here, okay? Now you basically want to do it like this if you, maybe your buttons are broken or you don't, you don't want to use two fingers or whatnot, you can just do it this way. So everything in recent menu actually you can do it too, even here. Take a screenshot and it all gets saved into the um, your photos app. Now if you want to take like a scroll capture screenshot, basically what that is is let's say for example you have a browser open and you have a web page and instead of uh, opening up the web page and taking like a screenshot here and then here, and then here, you can make one big screenshot, okay? We can take half the page, a quarter of the page, or, I mean, the whole thing, it doesn't matter. So for instance, let's say I wanna take, um, like maybe part of this uh, uh, web page as a screenshot. So volume down, power, I'm gonna press both buttons. Now, double arrow, double down, let's tap on that, and now you can see it's saving all of this here. Okay, when you wanna stop it, just hit the red button right there, stop. Now it says processing, okay? Now we can just simply go to our Photos app again. So we'll go to my Photos app, and then we'll look under Screenshots. That last one that we just took oop, is right here. And that's one big screenshot, as you can see right there. All right, pretty simple. Questions or issues, comment below.